All right, Sam, first pro game. How did it feel to get out there? It was great to get out there. The guys, they welcomed me in really well and made it easy for me. Uh, I'm playing with uh, Aggie and uh, Reggie. Uh, they made, very helpful. They've both uh, been around, especially Aggie, been around a long time and played a lot of pro games. So just talking a lot and helped me through it. And, and all the guys were great. So it was, uh, it was nice to get out there and, and even better to get the win. Say, and on top of that, you score your first goal. And I was just, what happened on the play? Can you take me through it? What you saw there, just kind of turn, fire, get pucks on net. Yeah, I saw, I was standing in front of the net trying to get a tip on uh, the original shot. Um, it bounced out of my stick and I was in the slot and I like to shoot the puck. And uh, I saw a little opening there and it was lucky enough to go in. What's the biggest difference that you noticed in your first couple shifts when you go in from just a couple days ago, you're playing in college and now here you are in a pro? Yeah, obviously the age difference is probably the first thing that comes to mind. I mean, my centerman tonight was 33 and a little bit older than, uh, than what I'm used to playing with, so that's probably the biggest difference. But uh, no, besides from that, um, the other team a little bit stronger than other college players, but uh, like I said, my line mates did a really good job of making it easy for me. The way this one goes, back and forth, up and down, and, and I'm sure you're just getting used to the group and everything, but a guy like Alex Stalock, who's another one of those veterans, 36 years old, when you guys go and mob a guy and see him win, what's kind of that said in that kind of whole pile up when you go see a goaltender at the end of the game? Yeah, I mean, he kept us in it. Um, obviously, we went down twice in the third period by goal, and we, he kept us in it. Uh, we fought back, got a couple goals there, and then it goes to the shootout. If none get by him, it's, it's pretty easy to win. So, uh, yeah, it was... I don't know, kind of a blur for me going into that pile, but uh, just really happy to get the win. How'd that one feel, man? It's, it's, oh. been, it's been a grind, but tell me how that one felt. No, it was great. Um, to do it like that and have uh, my whole family here is uh, really special. And uh, the group uh, played unbelievable. We fought back and uh, clawed back into the game when they took the lead. And uh, it was a ton of fun. And uh, everybody had smiles on their face after the game. It was good to see you. Uh, Okay, tell me two pad stack. I saw in practice a couple weeks ago. I saw you come sliding across. We see one of these in the game too. Yeah. I mean, you're still out there having fun. Like, how, how much fun was it to, to be in the battle, be in the fight like this? Yeah, I think it was a little mix between fun and fatigue, but uh, I kept the puck out and, uh, yeah, I was fortunate. I didn't go in the net. And, uh, yeah, it, you know, the only way to be playing the game still is, is having fun. And uh, tonight was one of those games. You know, obviously it was a high scoring game, but I think as a fan, um, Obviously, maybe not as a coach or front office staff. It's uh, not a fun game to watch, but uh, as a fan, that's fun hockey to watch. It's, it's, look, outstanding first game, and it just the way this season kind of progressed. What did it mean to you to, to get this victory here towards the end of the season and against the club, the, the organization that brought you in to, to, to professional hockey? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's crazy. It's full circle, you know. The, the team you came and entered pro hockey with and um, – you know, it's uh, a team you see towards the end of your career, and the guy standing behind their bench. Uh, we were roommates, rookies together in the American League, and it's uh, he was an unbelievable teammate and uh, unbelievable human. And now he's a head coach in the American League, and uh, to play against him uh, at this stage of my career is pretty cool. A uh, few games left now for the Gauls. It's it's playing for pride. What goes on the rest of the month here with this group, and, and what do you guys want to accomplish? I think for us, it's mainly just have fun and. Uh, play hard, play to our system like we talk about. But uh, at the end of the day, if, if you're playing hockey and you're not having fun, you're probably in the wrong, the wrong profession. So it's, uh, it's, I think this group uh, tonight was uh, obviously a, a good step for us to, uh, you know, go into an off day tomorrow with, uh, with a big win. You know, emotions are high as, uh, you know, emotional game. And to end up on top, uh, you saw how excited the guys were. Matt, wild game. Um, how did you digest this one off to a first period you guys score first I think it's the 10th time in the last 13 games uh, they kind of roared back they found ways to answer but you guys were able to find ways to answer the third period just seemed like this one had a little bit of everything in it felt like growth for our group um, you know there's moments in the season that you uh, you think about a lot once the season's over I think this will be one that feels a lot like growth for us and what I mean by that is you get down two times in the third period and then being composed enough to answer each time, uh, it's it's a big deal. And then being able to get the job done in the shootout, it's uh, there's so much great in the game, and uh, it made a great story uh, by the end. Sam Colangelo's first pro game, first pro goal. What did you see out of him when he went out there and did his thing? Made an impact right away with his skating, uh, his size, his, his physicality, his shot. Um, that was uh, apparent from the beginning. And you know I thought that he picked up system play pretty quick. Uh, yeah, he obviously made an impact. Alex Stalock, you know, 
his last starts in February, his last wins in October. It's been a, this has been a journey for him. What was it like to watch and just see this thing play out? It comes down to him against his old club in a shootout, and, the, and he takes down all three shooters. How would you feel about his game and just Alex in general? Uh, we had this this game circled on the calendar for him against his former club, and um, I know he was at a, at a higher level the last time that he was here, but but he uh, um, he was awesome. And uh, more than anything, the guys rallied around him, and they love him so much. And uh, the way that the guys played in front of him today was inspiring. And uh, it, for him to be able to come up with those saves at the end, it just honestly it puts an exclamation point on the story. You're officially eliminated from the playoffs. Bakersfield gets a win as well. Nine games left. You mentioned growth in this group. There's a lot of these guys coming back next year. What is left for this team to accomplish over the next nine games? I think that we're in a phase right now, like you mentioned, nine games. I think it'll be something like 18 days uh, by the time we, we get to Friday. Uh, they're gonna, the games are going to uh, be in rapid fire mode right now. And, and I think that the mentality isn't get through it, the mentality is use it. And so let's find ways that we can grow in each game for each individual and for us as a team. And I think we, our target has to be to use these games as much as we can to keep growing and moving forward.